Alright, Ontario Furnace Bushcraft here. So this is my Line 1 gear, okay? This is what I carry with me on a daily basis. Uh, here in Canada, we're not allowed to carry firearms on us, so any of you hoping to see this video for what I carry as my sidearm on a daily basis. Well, sorry to break it to you, but it's not a sidearm. It's not a firearm. Um, it's a buck 110. Buck 110. Uh, truth be told, here in Canada, I do not see the need of uh, carrying a sidearm. Um, crime rate's pretty low. Um, do I wish we could? Yes. Um, another thing, in the far north, uh, polar bears, grizzly bears, black bears, etc., cougars, mountain lions, what have you. Um, yeah, I think they should be allowed to carry sidearms on them. Uh, and in some places, full on firearms, long guns, shotguns. Um, yeah. Grizzly bears, cougars, mountain lions, not a fun time. Anyways, so I'll start from left to right. Uh, as you see, this is my uh, layout on my belt. Um, okay. First off, just one of these Walmart pen lights. I think it's police gear, yeah, police, police security. That's like 20 bucks. Great little light. I need to go get another one because this one's actually broken. Okay. That is in the sheath for this. It's just a Leatherman Wave. Great multi-tool. Actually, this is just my new one. I had my last one for a few years. Decided to gift it to a friend who just got into preparedness. I'll go, I'll do a review on the Leatherman Wave later on. Um, lighters. This is in the bit sheath of my Leatherman Wave, and I'll go over the layout of my Leatherman Wave uh, sheath once I do the video on said gear. Another big lighter. This is the lighter that I say, okay, here, dude, you, you need a light for your dart. Here you go. You know, this is just my throwaway. Yeah, I don't smoke, um, but it's a good uh, it's a good thing to have on you. I've noticed that a lot of issues with people can be solved if they go out and have a dart. So be the savior, shit his lighters out. Well, guess what? It's not anymore. All right, then. Uh, buck one ten. Great knife, just got it. I was using a Gerber, uh, the Bear Grylls uh, Scout Knife, Scout Folder, I had for the longest time. It was a great knife. Um, just wanna switch it off, really, on something that's a bit more durable. Something more uh, cowboy-esque, I guess you could say. So, that's that. I'll do a review on this later, too. Obviously, you got your wallet. You should always carry cash in your wallet, too. Um, cash is extremely important to have. Um, these are just sunglasses. Uh, here in Canada, the glare off the snow uh, is really bad. In fact, the Inuit actually made a version of sunglasses. I believe they were, they were the original uh, sunglasses design. Uh, it was actually for snow glare, snow blindness. Blind this huge issue uh, when you're driving or walking long distances the glare from the sun off the snow into your peepers yeah it's gonna cause some issues um, you're gonna get tired um, I find I get tired with the glare of the snow you want to just sit down and say screw it I'm just gonna wait until it gets a little bit darker and then you're all of a sudden five o'clock at night it's pitch black outside and you can't see okay so yeah that's my line gear line one Sorry, that's what's on me. Now, should something happen, yes, there will be other things on me, such as a nightstick, um, a fixed blade knife will definitely be on there. Um, honestly, probably a buck 119 uh, or a K bar, one of the two.
but I'll go over that in another video. This is just a, uh, what do I carry on my person line one gear on a daily basis? Uh, there are a few things that I need to add to this kit. Um, a way to filter water would be nice. Um, a bandana, preferably. Um, obviously I have fire, I have cutting, I have light, I have safety protection for my eyes. These are uh, 3M. These are uh, safety glasses. So they're, but they're uh, shielded for UV. I have a couple pairs of those. It's got to work. Um, I also have clear ones. So you're moving during the day and there's, or at night, sorry. And you just want to protect your eyes from the brush. Great thing to have is safety glasses. You know, you know those guys walking through the trails, they hold the tree limb in front of you. And then you, walk, then you start to go through it and they let go all of a sudden. Yeah, and smacks you in the face. Problem solved. Um, and you don't gotta cuss them out. I mean, you can still cuss them out, but it's not gonna hurt your eyes. Main point. All right, um, next video, I think, on my line gear, I think I'll be doing a review on this setup here, then this setup. Um, I also carry, I don't have it on me right now, it's actually in my EDC bag. Um, I turn a wallet into a boo-boo kit. Um, I'll go over how to do that actually in another video and I possibly might start selling them but I don't know uh, how I feel about that just yet I just want to make sure that the system is good to go a plus plus and worth my time to make um, yeah so eventually I might start an Etsy store and start selling some gear that I make I do try to make some of my own gear if I can't make it, I normally get it from surplus and recreate it to the best of my ability. So yeah, that's my line one gear as it sits right now. This is literally what I took out of my pockets and off the back of my head. I do tend to wear my glasses like Guy Fieri um, off the back of the head. So yeah. Anyways, there's my line one gear. Thank you very much for watching my video. Ontario Preparedness and Bushcraft out.